Let's do a test order into Shopify in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to make sure that we have access to Shopify Admin Studio tool. If you don't have a Shopify store, guys, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. All right, so now that we are inside the actual Shopify, what you want to do is to go directly into your dashboard. So this is an actual new actual store. I'm going to go into my settings and focus into payments. Directly here into payments, what you want to do is to make sure that you have created an actual product, uh, not by first adding your actual payment provider. In my case, I'm using Stripe. I'm gonna hit into managed, and what I wanted to do is to make sure that since today, what I wanted to do is assimilate an actual failed or successful subtraction, I'm gonna go look out for the test mode and enable this. So as you can see now, when the test mode is on, all the Stripe transactions are only simulated. So when I make a transaction here, uh, you don't have to worry about making a payment because Stripe is not going to be taking care of any kind of transaction here. So I'm going to go here and to save. Later on, what you wanted to do is to make sure they have an active plan into Shopify in order to make this transaction. All right, so now what I wanted to do is to go directly into my products. Here, we wanted to create an actual test product. So you have it already, you can create a test product into your Shopify store. This can be a dummy product or a real product with a discounted price for testing purposes. You want to ensure the product is set to active and visible to your customers. So we're going to go here and to add my product. And here just type, let's say for example, example number one. And in that case, in the description, I'm just going to leave this like that, example number one. And here into the media, I'm going to upload something uh, really easy, for example, this can. And here into the pricing, I'm just going to go for $1 and compare the price 0 0.5. And there we go. Now here into the inventory, I'm going to just leave this like that, the shipping uh, and all of that. So as you can see, here is now the status. I'm going to go here into active and go into save. So there you go, we have now created an actual uh, product. I'm gonna here into preview so I can check out how we can see our actual product. So now, what we wanted to do, of course, is to go directly into our online store. So here what you want to do is to make sure that your store is active in order to make the actual process. So I'm gonna hit here inside my current theme. I'm gonna go into view my store. And here I'm gonna go into the product. If you wanted to make this actual process to buy, I'm going to go into buy it now, my checkout. So as you can see here, we're going to be paying the subtotal. Here is my shipping and here are my taxes. So here's my total. Here is my contact information, the delivery option, the shipping method, the payment, and all of that. So here, what you want to do is to add the product to your card. After we make this step, what you want to do is to just enter and easily dummy customer information and a test email address, shipping address, the payment details. So use a test credit card or select a test payment method provided by the Shopify. So then later on, you can complete the order. All right, so uh, just an example, you can see that here appears my actual order, the date, the customer, the channel, the total, the pay, the unfulfilled. In this case, that means that I have sent it. I haven't sent the product yet, so I can review the test order process. So you can check out the different scenarios, such as using the different payments method or shipping options. What happens when you go into fulfill items? What do you have to do? Uh, check out the shipping address, how you can print the package slips, for example, so you can send your product and all of that information. So that's the reason why you wanted to do some kind of test inside your product. Lastly, I can go and check out here my bank statement, but I can show you that I haven't received any transactions yet and sometimes it appears as the product has now been already been uh, let's say paid for so I'm gonna just try to remove the text and remove this so I can do this once again all over again and there you have it guys that's the reason why I wanted to do some tests inside our store so to just make sure that we are ready to get started just deactivate the test mode directly inside the payments to go into your provider and turn off the test mode so you can get started to uh, receive the money inside your store so guys with that being said if you have not the break and the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great hosts into Shopify thank you so much for watching the video guys and well hopefully this was very useful for you once again see you next time